Hello there and welcome to your Wednesday afternoon forecast. Well today is a better day than yesterday, a lively night last night as well. The rain clearing Kent, the winds easing slightly, although the combination of lower pressure, high tides and also some strong winds across Scotland will result in further coastal overtopping, particularly across the southwest and the Orkney Isles. Here we will see a feed of showers which will turn wintry over the highest ground. Elsewhere, some brighter skies through today, so not a bad day and certainly temperatures slightly lower than what they have been. So patchy clouds, one or two showers feeding in across Wales, the West Country and the Midlands through this afternoon, but a rash of showers for Scotland clipping Northern Ireland. You can see pushing across from the west, merging to form a longer spell of rain and these winds continue to be strong near gale force for a time. Elsewhere, it's a blustery end to the day. Temperatures 9 or 10 degrees Celsius, but certainly a much better end than yesterday. So through Wednesday evening and overnight, we continue to watch as those showers push in across central and northern areas of Scotland. Dry skies for a time for the central belt. Further south across England and Wales, it will be a dry night, patchy cloud. However, look at this. This is the next rain band which is moving in from the Atlantic. So by around 5, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, notice the winds have picked up further strength coming in from the south and also outbreaks of rain moving in across the western part of Scotland, upslopes a little bit of snow over the highest ground. So a bit of a wet and windy start for Northern Ireland. Elsewhere, yes, we will see a stronger wind across uh, Wales as well as the West Country. Inland, the cloud comes and goes. There may even be a little sunshine in the forecast before the cloud thickens. Then through the day on Thursday, this area of rain becomes more coherent and it intensifies and it pushes from Northern Ireland, West Wales, as well as the West Country around mid-morning towards the bulk of Scotland, northern parts of England and the Midlands through the afternoon. Cloud thickens ahead of it and behind it we'll see the sun come out as that rain clears. Again, it's going to be a windy day, not as windy as we saw at the beginning of the week, but certainly we will again see the risk of some high waves, particularly across the southwest of Scotland. That rain extends all the way down towards more southern areas of England and Wales. So for rush hour on Thursday evening, we will see some wet and windy weather return to eastern counties. But that rain will clear yet again. Friday's looking like a bit of a messy day. Showers never too far away. Well, they will be few and far between uh, across England and Wales as the bank of cloud clears towards the east. More showery rain likely, though, for the western side of Scotland, clipping the north of Northern Ireland, extending towards uh, northwest England. And here we will see uh, some showers. Showers never too far away for the western side of Scotland as well. And scattering of showers and a fresh wind coming in across Orkney as well as Shetland. But things will try and settle down through Friday and into the weekend. You'll notice a difference in the air temperature as well through Friday. It's going to be, feel cooler, 6 to 10 degrees Celsius. And here's your bigger picture into the weekend. Look at this. A ridge of high pressure moves in from the west on Saturday. We lose the strength in the wind. The winds become lighter further west, extending across the country through Saturday into Sunday. And what that means on Saturday night, a widespread frost but it will be a bright start to Sunday. And like Saturday, many of us seeing some sunshine. Then later on Saturday into Monday, we will see the wind pick up some strength across the far northwest of Scotland, perhaps even Northern Ireland, where temperatures will recover, hanging on to that colder air and quieter conditions further south. Bye-bye.